Hello everyone, it's Rob here. Just with a very quick message before your video starts, I just wanted to remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now. You can get it right now. And if you like these videos, I think you'll really like this book. It's full of lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters um, and then loads of other stuff like puzzles, um, coloring pages. There's bits where I've started a drawing off and you need to finish it. There's even um, a nice certificate for you at the end if you complete all the activities in this book um, and you can fill in. There's a page which you have to write all about yourself, your favorite things and draw a self portrait, that kind of thing. So I think you'll really like it. Okay, that's enough for me. You need to watch your video. Here it is, your Draw With Rob video. Have fun. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Bidolf. Arr, there I am as a pirate, wanted dead or alive. Pretty mean, don't I? Although my reward is not very high. I think I should have made my reward a bit higher. Made, made me seem a bit cooler. I think 100 doubloons. Cheap at twice the price. That's what I say. Now the reason that I'm dressed as a pirate in that particular picture is because it was the picture of me in this book here called Sunk, which was all about our friend Penguin Blue from Boat Blown Away. But in this book he's playing a being pirate. Sorry, my book's a bit looks like it's been away at sea itself this book doesn't it it's a bit kind of worn but it's a book all about penguin blue playing at being pirates there we go he has his little pirate outfit and he's him and his friends they go off to sea they make a little pirate ship out of a rubber dinghy off they go sailing across the seven seas and eventually look can you see that they find a sunken pirate ship pretty cool huh pretty cool so listen I thought it might be fun if we had a go at drawing a pirate ship today. Usually we draw animals or people, don't we? But I thought today it might be really good fun if we had a go at drawing an object. And I thought a pirate ship is always good fun to draw. Look, you can see here all these little lovely details that I included in my drawing. So we are going to have a go at drawing one. So you're going to need a piece of paper. Of course you are. <sighs> How, it, how are you guys liking these Saturday Art Club lessons? I'm really enjoying it. It's good fun, isn't it? It's a nice thing to do on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Friday, come to think of it. But I like putting them up on a Saturday. It feels like a very Saturday-ish thing to do, a nice drawing. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. You're gonna need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with. Here we are, I'm gonna use this one today, one of my well, I always use Kurataki pens, don't I? You know this by now, Kurataki, my brush pens. Um, but I'm going to use this one today. So grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. We might need something to colour with later. But I think we should get started. Because this one, there's lots of little details that I'm going to include in this one. But it's going to be a really, really fun one to do, I think. So, I should explain how the videos work, just in case you haven't seen them before. Right, we're going to do a drawing together. I am going to show you how to do this drawing, okay? And I'm going to show you by drawing a little tiny bit at a time on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause your video and you can copy exactly what I do. Then start me up again and I'll draw a bit more. Then you can copy what I do again. Then I'll draw, then you'll draw. I'll draw, you'll draw. I'll draw, you'll draw. I'll draw, you'll draw. And we're going to end up with a lovely pirate ship at the end of it, okay? So, shall we start? Shall we get a move on? Let's do this, shall we? Okay. So your piece of paper will be this way round, so landscape, not portrait. And we're gonna start down at the bottom of your piece of paper. I want you to draw a U shape. Not too big, I'd say around about that sort of size. So a nice U shape, like a smiley mouth, okay? Pretty simple start, yeah? Then I want you to draw at the top left hand side of your U, I want you to draw a horizontal line, a perfectly horizontal line, like that. And I want it to be shorter at that end of the line than that end. So that's about a third of the way along. So imagine that line divided into three. We've got one third there, two thirds there. Okay. Then I want you to draw a small vertical line at each end of your horizontal line, like that. And then I want you to join those two up as well. So we're doing a long 
thin rectangle. Okay, the next thing to do is put your pen right at the left hand end of your long thin rectangle, not right in the corner actually, we'll leave a little tiny, maybe a millimetre or two away from the end like that, and I want you to draw slightly diagonal line, so not perfectly vertical, just sort of slightly diagonal, maybe a centimetre and a half tall, something like that. And then at this, this end, maybe half a centimetre in from the end, I want you to draw a vertical line. Now this one, this video, slightly different to the others, I think you're going to have to follow me quite closely because there's lots of little details but it'd be interesting to see how we all get on with this one and don't worry there'll be some room for you to express yourselves a bit later on after you follow me okay the next thing to do is we are going to draw another horizontal line across the top of these two and this time we are going to go fur we're going to stick a bit further out on this side again a bit like we did there so about the same distance again out there okay but this time we, we're not really going to overlap much at this end, maybe a tiny bit, a millimetre or two. And then let's do the same thing we did before, we're going to draw two little vertical lines at each end and another horizontal line to join them up, like that. Always confusing isn't it when you don't know what you're drawing, but hopefully it's all going to become very clear very soon, okay? The next thing. We're going to draw, this time we're going to go right to the end this time, and we're going to draw one of those diagonal lines about the same angle as that one, and maybe slightly taller this time, like that. And then at this end, again, let's leave about the same gap there, and we're going to start from about here, and we're going to go vertically up again, and we're going to try and stop as level as we can with that one, so about there. Then this time we're going to draw, right from this point here, we're going to draw a horizontal line. It's going to stick out a little bit again. So it's sort of going up a bit in steps here. And let's do our usual trick. Two little lines. Join them up. There we go. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to go back down to here. Okay. So the sort of imagine going down the steps on the bottom step here put your pen right in that corner and I want you to draw another U shape another curve but this one's a bit smaller like that okay so a little curve comes around and stops about the same height as this line this line this line like that and then I want you to join those two up with a horizontal line Guess what? We're going to do a little vertical line and we're going to do another little vertical line and we're going to join them up in a horizontal, like that. Then we're going to draw a line sticking out here, follow that curve all the way around, up to the other side, join it up there, like that. Maybe some of you are starting to see our pirate ship take shape. The next thing to do is from here, from this point here, so from where your curved, your, the very first curved line we did joins this rectangle here, I want you to put your pen right on that point and I want you to draw a diagonal line sticking out quite far. We're going to go slightly uphill to about there, so maybe, how is that one? Maybe about four centimetres and then we're going to stop. Then we're going to turn around quite sharply and we're going to join it back up with the U and it's going to get slightly wider as we get further away from the tip so it's like a big point like that okay I think some of you are probably starting to see our pirate ship take shape now there's lots the thing about a pirate ship is they were very kind of ornate beautifully built vehicles and they were usually they were mainly made out of wood and so lots of lovely carvings and ornate details on the railings and things like that so do you know what we are going to start drawing some of those details in because 
I think it really makes a difference with your drawing. If you really want it to look like a pirate ship, you have to include a few little details, but that sounds complicated, but don't worry, it's not gonna to be too difficult. What I want you to do is right at the top part of our drawing here, I want you to draw lots of little vertical lines, quite close together, going all the way along the top like this. Try and keep them roughly the same height if you can. And we're gonna keep going right until we get to the very end, like that. So lots and lots of vertical lines. Then we are gonna draw a little mini circle on top of each vertical line, like so. So do you see what I mean about all these little tiny details that we're gonna be drawing? And it is fiddly and it is time consuming, but you know what, it's gonna be worth it in the end. You're gonna end up with this lovely detailed drawing. Then what I want you to do is another horizontal line just below all those circles, like that. And that is gonna be, okay, I'm gonna tell, tell you what bit is what here. This is the main body of our ship. So this area down here is called, well, sort of the bottom bit is called the hold, and this bit is, I think it's called the keel, but it's the main body of the ship, okay? And then here we have, so the back of a ship is called the stern, and the front of a ship is called the bow. So this, these sort of areas at the stern, these are where, these are sort of the indoor areas on the ship. So these bits are sort of the decks. So if you imagine the pirate is about, about as tall as my, my fingernail there. So imagine all the people on this boat are about that high. You can see the size of this ship. So this middle area here is gonna be our captain's cabin, okay? And then this bit here is the top, the top deck. I think it's called the quarter deck, actually, up here. And so the bits that we've just drawn, those lines and those dots, they're sort of the, the railings around the edge so that everybody doesn't fall in all the time. And do you know what? We need to add a few more railings down here. So exactly the same. We're going to do some vertical lines around this little mini deck here, like that. We're going to add a little circle on top of each one, like that, and a horizontal line. We're going to join that up there, so it's a nice little kind of railing area. And we're going to do exactly the same here. One, two, I don't know what I'm counting. I don't know how many I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep going until I get to the end. There we go. They're all a bit short, actually. I'm going to make them a bit very slightly longer like so add my little dots on the end and there we go another set of railings like that okay the next thing to do what should we do next i tell you what let's carry on with the detail of this area first before we get into what's coming up here so let's add remember i said this bit here is going to be our captain's cabin so we're going to add a couple of windows the windows are going to do very simply. I just want you to draw one rectangle there and another one exactly the same size next to it, like that. And then we're just going to draw two thin vertical lines in each one. And then we're going to draw one, two, three vertical line, uh, horizontal lines across like that. So we're going to make a couple of little windows there. Now let's add some details. We're gonna add, mm, just add some, sometimes, do you know what? You just add some sort of random shapes and they can sort of be like decorative bits of the ship. I think these are, I don't know what they're called, but they're sort of these wooden pole things that are gonna be stuck to the side of our ship. We'll add a few little circles just to make it decorative. So you don't always have to know exactly what everything is that you're drawing. Sometimes you just sort of draw shapes and patterns and it just sort of works and makes everything look a bit kind of piratey and wooden. Now in this area here, this this area, I'm not sure what's inside there. You can sort of make up what's going on inside this, this part of the ship if you like. But the main purpose for, from our point of view is we are gonna draw a big name plaque here. So what I want you to do is two horizontal lines in the middle, like that. And then at each end, I want you to sort of do an inny outy sort of curve. So we start, we go in, and then we go out, and then we go in again. And that's gonna be where the ship's name is gonna be written. We're not gonna do that yet though. We're gonna leave that right to the end. We're gonna name our ship right at the end in a bit of a naming ceremony. 
And now what I'm doing is I'm sort of doing the shape again, but a little bit further outside to make it sort of frame it a bit like that. Okay. Right, next, we're gonna go down to this area here. Now, what I want you to do here is, we're gonna do a line of small circles just below this U-shaped area here. And these are gonna be little portholes. So the people who are below deck can see out. And actually, they're gonna have more purpose than just being windows. These are gonna be where the cannons are popped out if this pirate ship has to go into battle. Let's just add another little circle inside each mini circle here. Wow, this is a complicated one, isn't it? But hopefully you're having fun. It's actually not that difficult. There's just lots of little tiny elements. But I think it's actually quite nice to do something really detailed for once. Okay, I think we'll leave that there for now, that area of the ship. It's time to add the sails. Of course it is, a pirate ship needs sails. Now, there's lots, if you look at a photograph of a pirate ship or a painting of a pirate ship, it looks very, very complicated. There's always lots of sails, there's always lots of rigging and masts and all that kind of thing. Um, and that's true, we're gonna add quite a lot to ours as well, but I'm gonna show a very easy way to do the sails, okay? What we wanna do is just above this rail here, we are gonna draw a horizontal line it sort of goes to level with this edge of that mini U shape, okay? Then we're gonna draw another horizontal line. We're gonna be level here with the bottom of our railing. We're gonna draw another horizontal line directly above that one, pretty much the same length. And then guess what? We're gonna do another one about the same distance up again. So three horizontal lines. They don't look much like pirate ship sails at the moment, do they? But do you know what? how we can transform them immediately into pirate ship sails quite easily? We're gonna join this point and this point, but we're not gonna do it in a straight line. We're gonna do it in a lovely curve, like that. And then we're gonna do the same here. Another curve, exactly the same. Then we're gonna do the same here again, the same curve, and then another one there starting to look a bit more like sails, isn't it? But sails, of course, need a mast to hold up the sails. So what I want you to do is, behind these rails, I want you to draw two lines like that. That's gonna be our mast. And our mast is gonna imagine those lines carrying all the way through those sails. We're gonna go right up to about here. So right near the top of your page, turn around back down like that and then the mast one mast is going to have like a cro I can't remember what they're called the cross part of the mast is going to be behind this particular sail here and we're going to add a little kind of nodule on the end and it's going to be going out the other side there and that's what's going to be holding that sail up and of course we need one here but this one we can see a bit more of it so we're going to come across come along there we're gonna do our little kind of rectangle at the end. This time we're gonna be able to see that part of the mast. Oh, what are they called? I can't remember what that bit's called. Silly of me. Okay, then at the top of our mast, let's do another little rectangle like that to top it off. And we're gonna draw a little flag. Now it's not gonna be your the pirate flag that you all know and love, which we will come to in a bit. This is gonna be like a triangular flag, but because it's blowing in the wind, we're gonna do a little sort of curvy bit, like that at the bottom. And we're gonna do the same at the top, a little curvy bit, but we're gonna join it up at, up at the end like that in a point. So it's sort of like a little pointy pirate flag. Now, did you notice I've done it a little distance from the mast here? Because actually, it's tied on there with two bits of rope so it's flapping around now on this mast there's something have you guys heard of a crow's nest the crow's nest of a pirate ship now that is the point where one of the pirates would be sent to climb up the mast up the rigging and they'd be positioned in the crow's nest and they'd be the lookout so they'd be keeping an eye out for enemy pirates just in case they were being attacked and if they spot someone on the horizon they'd shout down enemy pirates and um, they'd get the cannons ready here in their little 
their little gun ports, you see. So that's what the crow's nest was for. So we need to draw a little basket around this mast. So this is how we do it. We do one horizontal line, about that long. A little way above it, we do a slightly longer horizontal line, like that. And we join up the two edges. And then we are gonna do another line in that gap, another line in that gap. And then we're gonna do three horizontal lines. And that is our little crow's nest basket like that cool huh pretty cool now then we need to draw some more sails so we're going to do these we're going to do two more over here we're going to do them the same way that we did the ones before but this time we're going to do our horizontal line just above this railing here we're going to go from about here to there okay a horizontal line then we're going to do another one just above this mast horizontally like that I'm going to do one more. Where should we do this one? We'll do this one just below that flag, I think. Like that. And then do you remember, we're going to do our curved joining up bits. One, two. Here, we're going to have to go behind that one. Like that. And of course, this sail also needs a mast. So why don't we do this one? Where should we do it coming from? Let's do it coming from... We're gonna do it just coming from next to this bit. So we're gonna do a straight line going all the way up from there, a very tall mast, and then the other bit, because it's sort of gone behind this room, we'll do it just going up there, like that. And you remember, we need to do it going all the way through, right to the very top of our page, this one. And we'll add the little rectangle on the end to top the mast off. We're gonna do these horizontal masty bits here again. One there, like that, just tuck that into that space. And the other one can be just sticking out there. There we go. And this one, this mast is also gonna be flying a flag, but this flag is the one we all know and love. So what we need to do is we're gonna draw a vertical line next to our mast. We are gonna draw a slightly wavy horizontal line, another vertical line, Another slightly wavy horizontal line. And then let's attach that. We're going to attach it with two ropes this time. It's a bigger flag. And this is going to be our Jolly Roger. Who knows what the Jolly Roger is? That's right. The Jolly Roger is the name for the pirate's flag. And it's also known sometimes as the skull and crossbones. Do you know what? I wanted to look up why it was called a Jolly Roger. So I looked it up. And apparently, lots of people think it comes from the French words, Jolly Rouge. So Jolly Roger, Jolly Rouge, and Jolly Rouge means pretty red. And that's because they think initially pirate flags were red. So they had a red background and uh, with the skull and crossbones on it. And they used to call it the pretty red, even though prettiness isn't something that you would usually think of when you think of pirates but that's apparently where the jolly roger came from so there you go fact fans who knew should i show you how i draw a skull and crossbones very quickly what i do is we do horizontal line vertical vertical circle like that then we do circle circle small circle line vertical 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 there's our skull part. Then crossbones, we do a V shape. We do bump, 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 bump. Diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Bump, bump, diagonal, diagonal. Bump, bump, diagonal. There we go, very quick skull and crossbones. You might have to do a lot of pausing in this video. There is a lot of detail. I think this is definitely the hardest one we've done so far. So if you are managing to keep up, even if it's taking a bit longer than the usual draw with Rob videos, you're doing very well. Well done, everybody. Okay, next we're gonna do one last sail over here in this space at the back here. So we're gonna do our usual trick. We're gonna do a horizontal line there. We're gonna do another horizontal line there. And we're just gonna do one sail here, I think. Let's join them up, our usual curve. There we go. Let's give it a little mast. You see we're doing them exactly the same way each time. 
I'm gonna go up to about here this time, the top there. Let's do one of those, we'll do another one of these flags, I think. Blowing in the wind, there we go. Gives us something to color in a little while. Add the horizontal elements of the mast again. I'm going a bit quicker now because I think you're probably getting used to how we're drawing these things. Do you know what? At the bottom of all of our sails, I think we should do we should do another one of these masts. Just at the bottom of the sails being held in place. I've got to think about how these things would work. If there was nothing at the bottom, the sail would just kind of flap around. It wouldn't be any good to anybody, would it? So there we go. That's nice. It's really really starting to look like a pirate ship now. There's a few more details that are going to help us make it look very piratey though. First of all, oh do you know what, I think we should add some more rails there, let's do that now. One, two, three, four, five, circle, 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 line. There we go. Um, but yes, the things that's going to make this look like a really cool pirate ship is the rigging, the ropes and things. So first of all we're going to do some easy bits. From the top of each mast we're just going to draw a diagonal line coming down from just below that top rectangle to the mast below it. Just like that. There's always lots and lots and lots of ropes all over a pirate ship. Everything is tied to something because it's very bumpy out there isn't it? Let's draw another diagonal line going this way. There. You can do as many of these as you like actually. It's really fun just making it up just having a lot of fun with it. We're going to do a big one here. We're going to do one coming from, I think I'm going to do one coming all the way from down here I'm going to do it going behind those sails and joining up around there. But this time, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a few lines. A few lines. That one's coming through. There. I'm going to do another one going from about there. And they're all going to the same point up here. Like that. We'll do one more. Just going behind there. And they're joining up at the same point. And then watch this. This is the cool bit. We're going to add lots of horizontal lines across this and this is going to be the rigging of our pirate ship. Now the rigging was like a big net basically, lots of sort of crossed ropes that people could clamber up really quickly. So a bit like when you go to one of those climbing um, sort of play centre things, as sometimes they have those sort of ropes don't they? Do you know what I'm going to add? I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add another little line or two in between here to make it even more rigging-ish. That's even a word. <coughs> there we go. And can you see that just sort of looks right, doesn't it, in this drawing? In fact, I think we should add some more. Let's add another bit there. A few lines sort of going up diagonally with some cross lines like that, some rigging. Can make that carry on through there. That's great. I'm really liking it. It's taking shape really well. There's one more sail we've got to draw and that is at the bow of our ship, so right at the front of our ship. Now this bit that's sticking out here, a bit like a sort of narwhal's tusk or a unicorn horn, is called the jib. I think it's called the jib. Anyway, um, and that's made of wood and that sort of points the direction that the ship is going in. So what I want you to do is from the end of our jib here, I want you to draw a dead straight line up to this point, diagonally, like that, okay? And that's gonna be a rope but that rope is holding a very cool triangular sail. Now what I want you to do is, in the middle section of that diagonal line you've drawn, I'm, I'm gonna draw a slightly thicker line, then I'm gonna draw a very slightly curved line that comes to about here, and then I'm gonna join it up with the top up there. I might curve it a bit to make sure I join it, but can you see I've drawn a sort of triangular sail and we're going to connect it to the jib here with another bit of rope. So lots and lots of bits of rope are holding these sails in place. I'm going to add another one going that way there to make sure that mast is held up. Um, where else can I do one? I think we're going to do one coming back across here this way. You basically can't draw too many bits of rope on a pirate ship and if you like you can add rope around the areas where they're tied up, even add little bits of bow. It's up to you how much detail you want to add, but I really like this when you get to do some really kind of detailed bits and pieces here and there. It's just really fun, you can really let your imagination run away with you and do some really really cool fun things. So there we go. Oh, this is looking good, this is looking good. Now 
beneath the jib. Sometimes they have kind of like statues tied, sort of wooden um, figures tied to the jib. And that might be if the, like, pirates, there's lots of famous, do you know any famous pirates? I mean, I can think of a couple. I can think of Captain Jack Sparrow, who is in the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Do you remember Captain Jack Sparrow? He was very cool, wasn't he? And his ship, I think, was called the Black Pearl. Is that right? I remember Captain Hook from Peter Pan. And I think his ship, actually, I think it was called the Jolly Roger, actually, his ship. Um, but there's a very famous, a um, couple of very famous real-life pirates. There was one called Captain Kidd. And now his, now what was his, I can't remember what his, um, his boat was called. The Adventure or something, The Adventure something. Maybe, oh, somebody will be able to tell me. Maybe I'll look it up afterwards. Future Rob, can you look up what Captain Kidd's ship was called and we'll put it there. That's what his ship was called. But there was one uh, very famous pirate. His name was Edward Teach, but everybody knew him by another name. You see, he had this very big black beard. So everyone used to know him as Blackbeard and he was a particularly fierce warrior, fighting pirate. In fact, when he used to go into battle, he used to set his black beard on fire before he jumped aboard the enemy ship. So these poor pirates, they see this crazy person jumping on board their ship with his beard on fire and they'd probably be absolutely terrified. That's probably how he managed to, to win lots of his battles. So there you go. So, and his ship was called, what was his ship called? It was called the Queen Anne's Revenge. That's right, Queen Anne's Revenge. So I imagine he had a figure of Queen Anne, whoever she was at the time, probably at the front here on the jib of his boat. So if you like, you could draw a little figure on your boat if you want. I'm not gonna do that now because I don't wanna spend too much time on this. I might just add a few little sort of wave details here, just on the underside of our jib, just to add a little bit of sort of decoration. You see what I mean? You can you can go as crazy as you like with the details here. I'm just going to do that for now um, because I want to get to our colouring phase soon. You see, but just before no, actually we're going to leave that. We're going to remember I left. We've left some space here to name our pirate ship. I'm going to I'm going to leave that for now. I might add a couple more of these shapes down here. These are going to be maybe they're sort of torches. Actually, I don't really know what they are, but they're sort of wooden things that are on the side of the ship. Maybe they hold some of the rigging in place. Maybe I should I should have done some sort of I don't know, I'll do some I'll do some rope coming out of them, joining up to here. There we go. As I said, you can't have too much detail can you? Um, so there we go. I'm gonna add a few more bits there. I'll tell you what, why don't we go away and why don't we do some colouring in now at this point? And then I'll speak to you afterwards because I might add a few little bits of detail when I'm doing some colouring, okay? And then we can talk that through afterwards. So shall we do that? We've been drawing for a long time now. This is one of our longest videos. So I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna colour this in. I'm gonna do it in super speed mode, obviously. So I'll see you back here in about 30 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, so there we go. I finished colouring in my pirate ship. You can see I've added quite a lot of detail with the colouring as well. You can see lots of horizontal lines there in the wooden areas to make it look like it's made of wooden planks. That's a very easy way of doing something very effective. I added lots of little, I wanted my pirate ship to seem a little bit tatty, a little bit kind of weather beaten. So I've added some little kind of um, sort of cracks in the sails and little patches that have been so sewn in and things like that. A bit of shading in the windows. Now here is our gold plate where we're going to write the name of our ship. Now I'm going to call this ship Neptune's Dread. They all had names, cool names like that, didn't they? Neptune, it was the god of the sea. Neptune's Dread. Ah, oh, cool. Name. Yeah, things like the Black Pearl or, you know, Queen Anne's Revenge, that kind of thing. So you've got to think of a nice, cool, piratey name for your ship. Neptune's Dread was actually the name of the ship in my book, Sunk, which was captained by our friend Captain Walker Plank, which I've shown you 
I think I've already shown you how to draw Cold Walker Plank. Have an eye, video, hang on, which video was that? Number 34, video number 34, Walker Plank. If you haven't seen it, go back and have a look. He's a pirate walrus, of course he is. So there we go. I wonder how you guys have got on with your pirate ship. Do you want me to show you? I'm gonna show you the pirate ship in my book sunk because this drawing, it took me such a long time to do in the book. Here we go. There's a bit of a spoiler here, but look, it's being blown out of the water by a big whale. And there's the pirate ship in sunk. So you can see lots and lots of detail in there. And do you know what? This pirate ship, at the end of the book, it's turned into a very cool pirate ship playground. Look, loads of stuff, like bubbles coming out of the cannons. There's a little slide here for the baby penguins to go down, a sort of helter-skelter thing. Great big steep slides and swings. So that was a lot of fun to draw that picture. If you buy this book, you can have a close look at that picture. But here's our very quick pirate ship, even though it wasn't that quick, was it? It's the longest drawing I think we've done together. But lots and lots of detail, lots of things to look at. Look, I've hidden our world record whale there underneath the sea. And you can see I added the sea just below the, um, the uh, what do they call it? The gun ports there and sort of the portholes. Um, so there you go, a pirate ship. I hope you've enjoyed drawing this pirate ship with me. I've had a really good time doing it. Oh, should we sign our drawings? Let's sign our drawings. I'm going to do mine over here today. I'm going to do my whole name. Why not? The drawing took a long time. The signature can take a little bit longer too. There we go. I've even put the date. 2020. That's the year we're drawing this in. So there we go. I hope your pirate ships have turned out well. Even though this drawing is a little bit trickier to do, I hope you carried on doing it. I hope you didn't screw it up and start again because don't worry, there's not, there's, you can't really go wrong with drawing. There's no right or wrong answer. You just gotta keep drawing your way through it. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. In fact, I think it's a good thing if it doesn't look exactly like mine. I really wanna see all of your drawings because the really cool thing about Draw With Rob is we all start off doing the same sort of thing, but everybody's looks different, doesn't it? When we see the grids, we see, we see all these different versions of the same drawing and it's lovely, I absolutely love that. So please do get somebody to take a picture of your drawing and you can send it to me by posting it on social media using this hashtag here, draw with Rob. That way I'll get to see it. Who knows, yours might make the grid. Um, if you're drawing this at school, that's quite a long art lesson at school, but you might be doing it at school. If you get to your teacher, maybe if you all hold up your drawings at the front of the class and get your teacher to take a picture and post it with this hashtag here, class of the week, I will pick my favorite picture of the class of the week drawings and you will get, I will send you a certificate that you can print out and you can put up on the classroom wall to say that you are a Draw With Rob class of the week. So don't forget to do that. In the meantime, I hope you've had a good time drawing pirate ships with me today. Um, why are pirates so cool? Because they are. I'm really sorry about that dad joke, but you know, I am a dad, it's my job. Occasionally I have to do that. I hope you've had fun drawing along with me today. I've had a lot of fun doing this one. I've really enjoyed it. Can't wait to see your drawings. I'm gonna be back very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.